This is an overview of the Radio Shack Discone antenna. Uh, this antenna is designed to operate between 25 MHz and uh, 1300 MHz. The uh, construction itself of the antenna is uh, fairly high quality with all the supporting hardware and the uh, elements are all made out of stainless steel. The assembly is uh, fairly quite simple with uh, nothing really major you have to do. Um, the wideband nature of uh, these uh, disco antennas means you can also transmit on them too over the uh, VHF and the UHF ham bands. Um, to get the 6 meter response, which is uh, the 50 megahertz response, the antenna comes with a uh, loading coil and a whip antenna that mounts uh, on top of the uh, cone element like that. Uh, if you don't require uh, the 50 megahertz response, the antenna will operate without this top loading coil. You just replace it with the uh, standard uh, 5 16 nut like that. The, uh, this is the main body of the uh, discone. There's a uh, be eight radials making up the cone element. The radials are about three feet long. There's also eight horizontal uh, disc elements, and uh, there is an isolator. This is a plastic isolator between them. Um, the antenna is not at uh, DC ground. So if you mount it outside, make sure you have a polyphaser or some sort of a surge or lightning protection, or otherwise uh, you can zap your radio. Probably the biggest drawback to the antenna is the uh, cone elements use a stainless steel tubing, and they have these little crimp connectors, threaded uh, inserts that they crimp into the uh, tubing. What happens is, is as the antenna is flopping around in the wind, like that, it'll eventually uh, break off an element or so. Uh, I had it happen a couple times. So what I do is I uh, try to get some uh, number 8 aluminum all thread from the hardware store. And uh, it should come in like 3 foot sections and just replace the uh, cone element uh, with a threaded all rod. Um, you still want to add a little bit of Loctite onto the threads and use the uh, locking nut. You'll have a, that'll make a really secure connection. It should uh, last through uh, snowstorms or windstorms or stuff like that. I do add a little bit of uh, RTV sealant to the uh, this plastic insulator. You want it, it should it just unscrews. You can just add a little bit of a sealant to it. And also to the top here, otherwise water can seep down the threads into your uh, center conductor. It uses a SO239. And the disc element just to, you know, compresses down on top. Um, you do want to keep the elements in line when you after you secure the antenna. Like a... Uh, You know, after you kind of line the uh, cone element and the disc element in line like that, and then when you tighten down the top nut or the top uh, loading coil, that just uh, helps uh, increase the performance of the uh, antenna. It comes with this short little uh, aluminum tube to mount, uh, which then gets mounted to your mast or whatever. That just connects into the uh, the body of the discone, and then uh, you run your coax. You want to make a little coax jumper. I have a little jumper here that I, uh, PL259 on one end. I got an end female on the other. This will go to my main incoming feed line. This will connect up to the uh, discone antenna. Just uh, connect up like that. Okay. 
Um, you can also mount the, for a reduced space application, you can mount the antenna upside down, like on a tripod or something. That's really handy. You never need a wide band to receive antenna. You can just, uh, that you can break down. You can uh, mount it upside down on a tripod or something, or stick it in like in your attic or whatever. That way you don't have to fiddle with all the uh, other uh, mounting hardware options. Other than the, um, the tubing elements, this is a fairly high quality uh, antenna. I really like it. I actually have like three of them. Um, one of the little secrets of this antenna is that uh, you can actually transmit on the FM broadcast band with it. So if you ever need a quick uh, pirate radio antenna, just pick up one of these. Um, you want to keep the frequency above 100 megahertz between 100 and the 108 uh, FM band, but uh, um, it does work in a pinch, and uh, I know uh, several people that use them for a low power FM.